Hey everybody, um, I am back once again. Um, this time I will be doing a tutorial on a sewing using. I am so, so excited. Uh, this is my very, very first time using this um, type of hair. But yeah, it is, I will be using the Sensational Goddess Remy hair. This is the first time ever that I have used this hair. I've heard a lot about, you know, the quality of this hair, how long it lasts. So I am, like, stupid ecstatic about doing this so am. And um, I'm going to try to see if, you know, I can have this so in and for at least, like, two, two, three months. You know, I have never, ever had, you know, um quality of hair that I'm able to keep in for a long period of time. And I, I know that with like the Bobby Balls hair or the Sensational Goddess Remy hair, they are really good to have in for a long time. So, I just want to go ahead and get started. I bought the, um, what is it, the Goddess Remy um, and the Yaki. I bought a nice little pretty box. Uh, this is the, uh, I got the Yaki in a 12 inch and a 1B. And I got the um, 10 inch and a 1B as well. So, they said uh, this is the limited edition. I don't know exactly what's so limited about it. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. But yeah. They say, you know, God is Remy, luxury, virgin, 100% Remy, human hair, and the yaki. So, I went ahead and went to my local beauty supply store and picked these up. I know you probably can see the prices. You know, one is $99.99, and the other one is $119.99. I did not pay these prices. I refuse to pay this price. So, actually, my beauty supply store had a sale going on, and... This is my receipt. <laughs> um, I paid $69.99 for the 10 inch and $79.99 for the 12 inch. So that's like the cheapest I've seen in my area. You guys let me know like if you've ever seen it cheaper. So, so I'm going to go ahead and open the box. So, you know, click this, you open it, whoop, and to have it all, you know, nicely taped up, you know. But yeah. So this is the 10 inch. And as you can see, it gives you a lot in there. And this is, like I said, the 10 inch, it feels so, 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 so nice. And I'm running my fingers through. There's, like, no hair coming out. So, as you know, I'll have the 10 inch, you know, up towards the front area. So, thinking, like, the 10 inch, for me, will probably come, like, a little bit above, you know, the end of my bra strap. So... This is pretty long for me because, like, I tell you guys time and time again, I am super short. So, I cannot, you know, or I have not rocked, like, six over a 14-inch hair. I have, I've only done, you know, um, 14 inches or less. I just feel like, you know, as short as I am, I shouldn't, or I don't think I would look right. It's like 20, 22, 24, I don't know, it's just wouldn't be right for me but and this is the 12 inch so of course if I had the 12 inch you know it'll be towards the back as you can see you can't even see like where it where it ends and actually the 12 inch ends the middle of my back so I think that's like perfectly fine for me so this is like the 12 inch, and I cannot wait to put this in. I am like, like I said, stupid ecstatic, okay? So, 
as you know, when I do all my tutorials, um, I definitely start with my braiding pattern. I think uh, this time what I will be doing is um, I'll be leaving my hair out. Um, I just put like a texture softener in my hair uh, about a week ago. So my hair is nice and straight, nice and smooth. Um, like I blow dried it out um, instead of wearing, you know, my uh, curl pattern. But yeah, um, so what I am going to do is do a leave out. Um, I think I'm going to leave enough out that if I want to, I can switch parts. So, you know, maybe like the first couple of weeks I might wear a middle part, then, you know, switch over to the side part and maybe even, you know, push my hair all the way back. I just want to make sure that I have like enough hair out that I'm able to be versatile with my hair. So, um, as you know, with all my uh, sew-ins, I use a weaving cap, so I'm going to be doing that. Hopefully, my braid pattern, I'll be able to show you guys. If my braid pattern, if I get too tired and it starts looking jacked, I'm not going to show you guys because I don't want you guys to make, <laughs> you know, fun of me. But anyways, I will try to make... Uh, I will try to show you guys my braid pattern, but mainly it's going to be probably, you know, maybe like zigzag, you know, back and forth, or straight back. It just all depends. So, I'm just going to go ahead, stop talking, get started on my braid pattern, and then come back and um, show you guys my sew-in with my Sensational Goddess Remy here. So, Definitely stay tuned if you want to see, you know, my braid pattern, uh, my sewing tutorial, and the final look. Okay? All right. All right. So I am um, done with my braid pattern. It's real simple. Um, like you, as you can see, I got like you know a little bit of leave out on the side. I have a leave out in the back, and this is going to be my leave out um, at the top so I'm able to do, you know, the middle part, the side part if I want it. Um, so this is just basically uh, my braid pattern. It's nothing fancy whatsoever. Uh, like I said, it's basically, you know, how it how it's going to be because I'm not about to um, do anything too fancy on my head because, for one, like I said, I'm putting the um, weaving cap on so I really don't need to be extra perfect with my braids. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with um, sewing the tracks or the weft down. So um, I'll be back to show you guys that. So stay tuned. Okay, so um, I have started on the sewing. I have put in most of the 12 inch. I had about this much left of the 12 inch. I stopped about like right here for the 12 inch. And um, doing my sewing, I used about six needles, you know, so, and um, I did the fold over method. I didn't cut any wefts except, you know, to cut like right here. That's it. So this is how the, um, hold on one second the 12 inch is looking. Um, so far the hair is um, really nice. I have minimal to no shedding whatsoever. Now I've known that a lot of times when I do do my sew-ins, I get like a lot of shedding even when I don't cut the weft. So, um, as you can see, my hands flow right through it. Uh, this is like a yakky, like African American texture, so it's really good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started, uh, start putting in the 12, I mean not the 12 inch, but the 10 inch. And I will come back to you guys once I get close to my leave out. So stay tuned. Alright you guys, so I am finally done with my sew-in using the Goddess Remy hair. Um, I decided to do the side part. I haven't, you know, um, cut it, shaped it, styled it, nothing. You know, I just finished, you know, sewing everything, sewing all the wefts down. And what I decided to do was because when I tried to do, like, um, my leave-out, 
it, you know, my hair is like different lengths, so I just didn't think it looked right. So what I did was added some, um, I added like one track right here, you know, like I glued one track right here down, and then um, over here I put like four tracks. I put like two tracks of the color and of the, I think this is like a number 30. I put like two tracks right here. It's all Goddess Remy. And um, two tracks of the 1B and a 10 inch. Both was the 10 inch. So um, just to have just a little bit of color on this side. Um, I haven't flat ironed my hair or anything like that. So of course you can see that it's not all the way blended. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and um, razor my hair, give it a little bit of shape because I know what I did notice was with the Goddess Remy, the one that um, I purchased, like the ends are like kind of like for some reason like like choppy looking. So I'm going to go ahead and just razor, you know, throughout the hair. And um, I'll be back to uh, style the sewing. done with my sew-in. I just threw um, some curls, spiral curls, whatever you want to call it, in the hair. So this is how it is looking. So I'm going to turn around and show you guys the back. This hair is really nice and flowy. So that is it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this style. Like I said, this is the Goddess Remy in a 12 and a 10 inch and um, the color number 1B and 30. So, but yeah, um, I will try to see if I can do um, an update on this here. Uh, I know I have said it in the past about other weaves, but a lot of times, like, the um, weaves don't last that long, so... But I will be doing an update on the Milky Way Pure, so definitely stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. And to my subbies, I love you guys. To the people that have not subbed to me, sub to me. It's free. Go ahead. Um, but until next time, you guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.